Hi guys, in this video, I want to show you how to import your data in Excel format so that you can start to use it in RStudio. To start, uh, in RStudio, you click the new file and uh, select R script. Uh, from here, you save in the location you want uh, in the directory that also include the data set. Uh, after you create the R script, uh, you want to set up the working directory. Working directory is the place R knows where to find files. So the commands set wd for working directory and you put this directory in parentheses with comments. Uh, for uh, Mac users, you can right click and get info and copy this one here and put it here. Uh, you may know that uh, in the first line, I have a power sign at the beginning, which means that uh, this line is uh, common for your own information. Uh, R1, uh, R Studio will not uh, run this line. Uh, this is the real command here. So if you set up the directory, you can select these two lines and click run. And if you do not see the error message, you are set for the working directory. Before I show you how to import the data, I want to show you what the data looks like and the data set we'll be using. So this is the data set we'll be using. It looks like this. It's very typical. And the uh, uh, ID is the uh, serial number for student because it's a practice data set. And so I made it up and uh, it's from one to 66 it should it should be more than sufficient for your data analysis uh, practice and uh, I have different uh, labels here uh, which simulate the uh, pre-test and post-test that you will be using uh, to make you see it better uh, the, here is the code book uh, in for the project for the research project I've done uh, I normally have a code book for uh, data analysis. They help you to see uh, what data looks like. And since this is a small scale study, I do not put additional label and uh, uh, the definition of each uh, variable. Uh, but here it is uh, for the pre test and post test. I have different uh, type of knowledge from S1 to S8. For the post test, I name it from P1 to PA knowledge. So if you want to see if our intervention or the, the action research help student to gain more in knowledge, I can compare S1 and P1 knowledge. Uh, uh, I also create the composite knowledge, which is the mean score of these uh, A dimensions. So that's a composite. It's also D knowledge and uh, P knowledge. Uh, also have another variable called the useful. Uh, this reflects their attitude toward the uh, uh, intervention. So composite useful, D useful and the P useful. So this is the simple data set we will be using. And uh, this is what the data looks like. Uh, please note that uh, to make it easier, so in this data set, I do not have missing data. So it, for the practice purpose, it's much easier to handle the data without missing data. Uh, and uh, here we are again, go back to our studio. So this is the uh, common import the data set. And uh, here I put the install package read Excel. Uh, normally you will have this one, but if you don't, uh, remove the power side and run this one. This will tell our studio to find the read XL, which is a package to read Excel in our studio. And I click it run, 
and uh, it asks me to update the loaded package. Uh, it takes a while. And uh, once you've done that, and click library uh, read Excel. Uh, please know that uh, the install package command only need to be run once. So you don't have to run it every time you import. So I uh, comment it out. And uh, for this one, you can name your data set, data set, and put that in the working directory, which for me, I'm workshop, I have the data set here. Uh, so read Excel and put this one here. The column name true, so I because I put the column name here. Uh, DT is uh, the working memory in R Studio. I name it DT, and then view DT. You can view that in here. So let's first run it. DT and view D this one, uh, one line by one line, and uh, view DT. And here you can see the data set. Uh, one tip I want to share with you is that for variable name, I normally put lowercase. So for all of this, I put all lowercase. And uh, you need to have a, a naming convention. Uh, in this video, I show you how to set up the working directory, uh, how to use the read Excel package, uh, import the data into our studio, and you can see the data. Uh, so this is the preparation for the R Studio, and uh, in the next video, we will show. I will show you how to do descriptive statistics. See you in the next video.